How dare you try to break us up? Oh my dog, stop. Let me go. Let, let me go. You're choking me. Hey guys, welcome back to Plasma TV. Oh my dog, school is almost over. Comment down below and let me know when your last day of school is. I think for some of you guys, school has already been over, but for some of the other ones, maybe you have like another couple weeks or so. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, today I'm gonna be doing a 10 types video. I was originally gonna do this last week, but then I wasn't really in the mood to film it, but today I am. And we are gonna finish off the school year with 10 types of annoying classmates. You know you have them, the ones who just are so annoying for no reason. If you can relate to any of these, comment down below and let me know. And if you can't relate to any of these, comment down below and let me know what other things classmates do that annoy you. All right, guys, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Number one, the one who thinks they're better. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, what's up? Oh my dog, is this the new limited edition designer bag? <gasps> mm hmm, I just got it yesterday. Oh my dog, how much was it? I bet it was super expensive. Well, you know, it's like $3,000. Whoa, $3,000. I could never afford that. Oh, hi guys. Oh, hey, Sarah. Oh, whoa, did you get a new bag too? Huh? Oh, this tote bag? Yeah, I got it yesterday. Ooh, I like it. It's very, um useful oh thank you i love it so much it's like very simple and plain and just you know it's just simple i love it <laughs> well it can't compare to my designer bag look oh that's cool too but um not really my style <laughs> more like you can't afford it i'm sorry i said this is a limited edition bag that not everyone can afford including you oh i mean sure but it's not really my style oh my dog she's she's kind of rude number two the one who makes you feel bad about your grades hey how'd you do on a math test <sighs> i got a d my mom's gonna be so upset oh my dog i'm so sorry i barely got a c well at least you passed that's true wait what you got a d on the test? Yeah, that test was super hard, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Dude, you seriously need to study. I got an A on that test. Well, we did study. Yeah, I studied like for two weeks. Well, then you're not very smart because that test was easy peasy. I could have done it with my eyes closed. Ugh. Excuse me, smarty pants. We studied, okay? Well, I'm just saying like that test isn't hard and it doesn't require a lot of smartness to even pass <laughs> what lamos uh, what is wrong with him <sighs> oh now i feel bad am i just really not smart oh please don't listen to him he's just being a smarty pants not everyone is as smart as him <sighs> so it's true i am just not smart oh don't feel bad about it but it's true i i failed number three the rude ones who ignore you. Oh, hey, look, it's Katie. Hey, Katie. Oh, Katie. Oh, hey, Richard, what's up? Oh, not much. I was just talking to my friend Sam here. Hey, Sam, it's my friend Katie. <laughs> Hi, Katie. <laughs> anyway. So, what you gonna do after school? Um, I'm not sure. I think I might go shopping. What about you? Oh, I think I might go study. Um, hey, I, I'm gonna go, okay? I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Ugh. So I was talking to Richard, and then his friend Katie came. Ew, is she the one that ignores you? Yeah, I said hi to her, and she didn't even say hi. She's so rude. Ugh, I don't like people like her. They think they're better, and they just don't even want to talk to you. I know, right? I was literally right in front of her, and I said hi. She must have heard it. Like, you couldn't have not heard it. Yeah, she straight up ignored you. Number four, the one who gets you in trouble. Well, I'm glad both of you are able to make it to the makeup test. Thanks for letting us make up the test, Mrs. Mo. So this test is gonna be multiple choice. It's gonna be 20 questions and you will have 45 minutes. Do you have any questions? There's gonna be absolutely no cell phone use, no talking, nothing, no notes, nothing. No, I understand. Okay, perfect. And you? No, I'm good. All right then, the test is gonna start as soon as I pass out the papers. One minute later. Hmm. Hey, do you have a extra pencil I can borrow? Hmm? 
Ugh, don't talk to me. Excuse me. Do you have an extra pencil I can borrow? Don't talk to me. It's a test. Ask the teacher. Well, ugh, whatever. Mrs. Mo. Mrs. Mo. Ugh. She's not answering and we only have 35 minutes left. Do you have an extra pencil? Come on, it's a yes or no question. Why are you ignoring me? Excuse me there. There is absolutely no talking during this test. I have already warned you and told you the rules. Mrs. Mo, I wasn't talking. I, I was working on the test. I was just asking for a pencil. <sighs> there is absolutely no talking during this test. I'm sorry, but both of you are gonna fail. What? That's, that's not fair. Leave my classroom immediately. Number five, the know-it-all. Who can tell me what pi stands for? I know, it's 3.14. Perfect. Who can tell me the quadratic formula? I know. It's negative b plus or minus radical 4ac over 2a. Very good. Next, who can tell me how to graph the following formula? f of x equals 2x plus 2. Ooh, I know. Ugh, she's so annoying. She knows everything. The super know-it-all. <laughs> it sounds like you're being a hater right now. What? I'm just saying. She's annoying. She doesn't even give, like, anyone a chance to think about it. And she's always like, I know, I know, I know. Like, come on. Stop. Number six, the shouter. Mrs. Stanley! Mrs. Stanley! Mrs. Stanley! Oh, my dog, are you kidding me? My ears hurt. Well, you know how he is. He's always shouting in class. Yeah, and he needs to stop. He needs to raise his paws and wait to be called on. Mrs. Stanley! Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Number seven, the sick. <laughs> uh, 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 I feel so sick. Sarah, are you sick? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sick. I'm... Uh. <laughs> Ew, why don't you stay home? Because uh, I don't want to miss school. Achoo! Ew, she's going to spread all the germs to everyone. Oh my dog, that's like my number one pet peeve. I hate it when people who are sick come to school. They're going to spread it and get everyone else sick. Tell me about it. Ugh, so annoying. Number eight, the bragger. Hey, how'd you do on the chemistry test? Oh my dog, I got an A+. Plus. Oh really? That's awesome. But how do you get an A+, plus? I thought an A was the highest. Well, it's because I did extra credit. I came in early at 6 a.m. to do extra credit and the teacher likes me. Oh, okay, I see. But why'd you do extra credit when an A is an A? Like, an A is good. Well, I like to be the best. What did you get? Oh, I got an A. C and A is not good enough. I had an A plus. The plus makes the biggest difference. I mean, I guess, but you can't get over 100% anyway. Like, the extra doesn't really matter. It's about prestige, okay? I'm not an A student like you. I'm an A plus student, for your information. Okay, Miss Bragger. Number nine, the drama queen. It's you, isn't it? You're the one telling Jacob to break up with me. Is it? Oh my dog, can you please calm down? Calm down? You're the one telling my boyfriend to break up with me. Why? What is wrong with you? I didn't tell him to break up with you. He was asking me for my advice, and I told him if he's not happy in a relationship, then why continue? You know this is none of your business, you know? <coughs> How dare you try to break us up? Oh my dog, stop! Let me go! Let, let me go! You're choking me! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get off her! Get off her! You are so crazy! You better stop and back off my boyfriend! Oh my dog, I'm not even interested in him! Stop, you drama queen! Oh my dog, she's crazy! Ugh. Let me go! No, you're gonna get suspended! Calm down! Number 10 the mean hey do you know if naomi uses conditioner naomi no i'm not sure why well it's because her hair is like super nappy and dry and like has so many split ends it's like really disgusting oh really i guess i never noticed yeah and she needs like lotion on her skin because her skin is always dry and she probably needs to see a dermatologist because she has so much acne oh yeah i see that she does get some pimples yeah her hair her skin everything is just so bad oh 
okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can, I can see that. Yeah, and I'm only telling you because she's your friend and she looks like really gross. Anyway, I gotta run to class, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, well, that's... That was nice of her, I guess. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Um, hey, I wanted to tell you something. Okay, what is it? Um, so my friend was saying how, like, your hair is really dry and nappy and, like, you need to use conditioner. Uh, what? I do use conditioner. Well, she's saying like your hair looks really bad, like really bad. And your face too. My face? What's wrong with my face? She was saying like you have dry skin and pimples. I mean, a lot of people have pimples. It's part of growing up as a teenager. Yeah, but you gotta take care of your hair, man. It's like nappy. Oh, that's rude. I do use conditioner. Oh my dog, I can't believe it. Ugh.